Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey. oh. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Tats from Gorg Berlin, and here we are at Superbooth 24, day one, with Acoustic Synthesis Phase 8. Um, if you know about Acoustic, acoustic Synthesis Phase 5 that we showed last year, that was a te technical exhibit. We were showing uh, a way of making sound that's somewhere in between acoustic and electronic. Um, quick rundown, we basically have these stainless steel, what we call resonators, and we designed them to have a particular kind of sound. So um, this one, it yeah. makes it. Well, that's quite aggressive. Um, they all have their each tone. And uh, in order for them to make a sound, you could plug them with your finger like I just did, or uh, we could control it electronically. And we do that with, uh, by hitting it with a hammer, like on a piano. Uh, except our hammer is electromagnetic. We send a pulse through a coil and it generates a feel that moves uh, the resonator. So you can hear that. Should turn this up at the beginning. And we've got some envelope controls to make it a bit shorter or longer. The envelope is superimposed on the natural sound uh, after it's hit. So we can basically, we, we basically have a VCA on the output of, our, of each voice and we can cut it short. But we can actually uh, manipulate the way these resonators are moving, and we call this we call this swell mode. But it's basically sustain. And what we can do, we can after the first hit, we can keep injecting energy uh, into the resonator to hold that note indefinitely. So, example would be this one. So it's not just a pluck machine, basically. You can hold those notes on using the resonance. Exactly. So you, it can do kind of paddy organ type sounds, uh, as well as more percussive sounds. Another theme of percussive sounds, if I go back to this kind of uh, pulse hitting kind of mode, what you can do is because they are actually physically resonating, you can manipulate the way they sound by touching them, for example. And so stuff on them. I should run out see what's made it. One of the great things, um, we've got this control called air. It basically opens up all of the VCOs. So it's kind of, without triggering anything, we're already listening to everything that the resonators are doing. And in this mode, you can just... Yeah, that's nice, that. So, just hitting it. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, we haven't really decided. This is just a prototype, it's not the final product, um, which will be forthcoming. 
but um, we haven't really decided how much to isolate this unit. So this is a floating unit, the sound uh, engine, you could say, um, and it's floating on rubber bits. But we could do stuff like floating it on springs, like in a reverb tank, or... Um, but we think it's kind of nice that it's live, you know, it's a bit like a guitar. You will, you will get feedback on stage if it doesn't better pull power up. Um, <clears throat> And uh, you get feedback because the sound will still be resonating the string just like it would on a guitar. Yeah. yeah. Like it just. There we go. Break my ears. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, we wanted to create something that was a little bit different from what's out there already. There's loads of great instruments out there, which I absolutely love. Um, but we wanted to do something different and this is it. It's something in between acoustic and electronic instrument. Um, we should have a product out sometime in the future. No promises, but hoping in a year or so. Year or so. And like you were saying earlier, I just, I just think it's really nice the way Fog have allowed this um, to, to be shown in this development and the way it takes so long to develop something. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important not just for, you know, not just for getting feedback and for, for, you know, but it's also, it's also for us really important to have this connection with our audience, with you and with people just coming to Superboo and having these conversations. And before it's finished, you know, I, I think there's always a danger. I've always worked previously in, in a way where it's, you know, very close until we're ready to sell it. And, you know, it's like, here we are. Um, and I do feel like it's a bit more exciting for us, especially because this is new and we're taking much longer to develop it, that we have this kind of like back and forth with people as we develop it. I think it's nice as well to show that Hawks into doing this sort of stuff, you know, and uh, uh, enabling you to spend this, this long creating sort of bit. So yeah, absolutely. We don't have to ever. <laughs> yeah. So one, one of the things like when I started Cork Berlin is we're four years old now, we're a team of 10. And I think um, the, the one thing we wanted to avoid was to become this kind of like crazy lab that does crazy things and never puts anything out. Our goal really is to, to, to deliver instruments and help music being made and help musicians make music. And so our end goal really is to put something out that's, that's a great instrument. And, uh, and so it's good, good to have that freedom but the end goal is, is basically the same for the, for the whole kind of core group. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And that's it. And, and apologies for doing it twice. Yeah, all good. <laughs> so, practice is great. Okay, lovely. <laughs>